There is a big hole in Canadian hearts and on our country's political scene tonight. Jack Layton, the man who led the NDP to heights it had never seen, is gone at the age of 61. Always a fighter throughout his political career, his battle with cancer proved too much to overcome. Tonight on The Daily Brief, we look back at the life and legacy of a man whose spirit and dedication transcended party lines. It is a passing being lamented across the country as unfair. The death of a man known for being so incredibly vibrant coming far too soon. Jack Layton's life taken by cancer at the age of 61. This is the official statement from Layton's family released this morning. We deeply regret to inform you that the Honorable Jack Layton, leader of the New Democratic Party of Canada, passed away at 4.45 a.m. today, Monday, August 22nd. He passed away peacefully at his home, surrounded by family and loved ones. Details of Mr. Layton's funeral arrangements will be forthcoming, and we can tell you now that uh, we got some news about those funeral arrangements late this afternoon. It will be on Saturday here in Toronto, where we're broadcasting the Daily Brief from tonight. Here now is a look at the life of Jack Layton, a great political leader who won the hearts and votes of Canadians. Jack Layton's passion for politics began early in life. Growing up in Montreal, politics was a family thing. His father, Robert, was a progressive conservative cabinet minister and his grandfather, a cabinet minister in Quebec. As a young man at McGill University, political science was the focus, and it remained the focus as Jack made the move to Toronto, where he obtained his PhD and went on to teach. It was at Toronto City Hall where Jack made his mark not just in politics, but on those he served. He was a champion of the poor, a man of the people. He was more than just a fixture at City Hall. He was a fixture on the streets of Toronto, an avid bike rider. He would often be seen riding to and from work. He had a passion for music and a zest for life that he used to further his political aspirations. His work on council in Toronto was legendary throughout the city. He fought plans to build the Sky Dome, now known as the Rogers Centre, and he rallied to stop the city from landing the 1996 Olympics. His political life and his personal life were also intertwined, and never more so than in 1988 when he married Olivia Chow. Shortly after their marriage, Chow joined Leighton on city council, and the pair became a one-two punch at City Hall. Together, Leighton and Chow moved beyond municipal politics and onto the national stage. His charisma and popularity landed him as leader of the NDP in 2003, and voters sent him to Ottawa in 2004. Chow joined him in Ottawa as an MP, and together they took their fight for the underprivileged and working families to Parliament Hill. For years as an MP, Jack made his mark. He maintained his enthusiasm for the job despite being diagnosed with prostate cancer in early 2010. He vowed to fight it, and he did. This year, more than 25,000 Canadian men are going to be diagnosed with treatable prostate cancer. And I've recently learned that I'm one of them. Like my dad, I'm a fighter, and I'm going to beat this. His tireless work and charm on the campaign trail turned the tide for the NDP, and earlier this year he changed the face of Canadian politics, leading his team to official opposition status. We can build the Canada we want, a country worthy of the hopes and dreams of those young Canadians who said no to the same old cynicism, to the negativity, to the politics of usual, and they said yes to a Canada where anything is possible, where we all stick together and no one is left behind. But his battle with cancer was not over. Last month, Layton called a news conference to announce he had another fight on his hands. Another form of cancer had taken hold of his body. Again, he vowed to fight, but he had to step aside as the leader of the NDP to do it. And I'm going to fight this cancer now so that I can back be, uh, be back to fight uh, for families when Parliament resumes. But the cancer was one fight Jack couldn't win. Jack Layton, dead at the age of 61. Lieberman, Canada is mourning the loss of Jack Layton, the everyman of politics. He passed away early today, surrounded by friends and family at his home in Toronto. 
A true leader through and through, Jack fought to bring the new Democrats to new heights on Parliament Hill, then announced he had to step aside to fight a new battle for his life. It was a courageous one, but sadly, Jack Layton, the leader of the opposition, lost his battle with cancer today. Layton's death comes just weeks after announcing his diagnosis with a second form of the disease. He issued a statement to the media back in July. On the advice of my doctors, I'm going to focus on treatment and recovery. I will therefore be making a, taking a temporary leave of absence as leader of the New Democratic Party of Canada. And I'm going to fight this cancer now so that I can back be, uh, be back to fight uh, for families when Parliament resumes. Layton had planned on returning back to the House of Commons next month. Current interim leader Nicole Turmel would have headed up the party until then. Unfortunately, Layton will not be back in Ottawa, but he will be remembered. He was 61.